Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial from infixitonline.com Don't forget to check out our YouTube page or if you're watching this on YouTube check out the website infixitonline.com Alright so in this tutorial we're going to show you how to create a OSX Leopard DVD Macintosh new operating system using a single layered disk uh, the installed disk everyone knows it comes on the dual layered disk and when most people buy blank DVDs it's single layered uh, dual layered can be a little expensive to say the least alright so um, this is possible uh, I've been receiving a lot of requests on it I end up having to do it for one of my clients also so let's get this tutorial started alright a few things you're going to need before you perform this so you know at hand. Uh, during this current tutorial, what I'm using is I'm using a, um, an iBook, a G4 iBook. Alright, you're going to need about 10 to 12 or 10 to 15 free gigabytes on your hard drive. And uh, of course, you're going to need a DVD burner to make the actual disk. A Leopard install DVD. In this case, I have an image file which is on the system already. All right, and the simple software you're gonna use is um Macintosh Disk Image Utility, or you can use Toast for the ending part. But you will need the Disk Image Utility. It's a few other softwares that you could do this, but that's built in the Mac, so it makes it simpler. All right. Also, um, the operating system I'm using on this current Mac is Tiger. Just so you know. All right. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open up Macintosh Disk Utility. Right, okay, and to do that you'll go to go and utilities. Uh it might be a few better ways that you would know of accessing things, but um it's a million ways to access different utilities, so you go your way, but you want to open up this utility, right? Okay, and once you have this utility open, what you want to do is you want to open up the image. In my case, which is the um, it's OXX Leopard.ISO. You want to open that image up. All right. We do that here. you want to highlight that image on the left here you see Mac OS X install and you want to create a new image by clicking on this icon here okay now it's asking you where do you want to save the image of course you want to save it where you know you have at least eight gigabytes of space on your system we'll keep it inside a document and we'll call a file name OS X Leopard and it's also important, which I um, recommend, don't save this image in the in the same area where you have your um your leopard image already, the image that you're actually copying from to make smaller, just so you don't have no problems in the future. In the image format, you're gonna select read write, and encryption of course none. Then you select save. Okay, so once this utility has finished creating your new image, in step two, what we're going to do now is we're going to open that image up that you just created, and you're going to delete the non-vital files or the files that you don't need so you can make this leper image small so it can fit on a single layer DVD. Now, so what you're going to do is you're going to mount that. Um, the original leper installation we don't need that anymore so now we can inject that for now at least leave it open we're gonna inject that eject that I'm sorry right you're gonna open up you see here the OS X leopard image that we just created we're gonna open that up here Okay, now you, as soon as you mount it, you see it automatically opens up. 
And what you want to do here, you can do two things. Okay, you could press Command, Shift, and G, or just select O. Go to folder, what we're going to do. In here, it's selected already. We'll do it over. You're going to type in System here, and you're going to select Go. Okay, and that brings this up here. Now, what we're going to do is we want to get rid of or delete the option to installs and the instruction folders, which actually is the different language packages and the driver for printers. All right. Now, what I learned from um, testing this, you don't actually have to get rid of every printer and language software. You still have a little space left because the last time I did it, I ended up with maybe like three gigs worth of space, and we're dealing with a 4.3 gigabyte um, single layer DVD. So you can keep some. I mean, you know, like I know what uh, printers I have in my network, so I know what printers to keep that'll make my life a little easier. You can always install it later in the X tools which actually have everything in it okay so what you want to do is you're going to open up the installation folder okay then you want to go to the packages folder what we're going to do is get rid of a lot of these installation packages which is taking up a lot of space but it's not important as far as leopard installing on your system all right Like I said, we got language transitions and printer drivers. And what I what I did to make everyone's life easy in this tutorial was I created a list here that I'm gonna open up now of all the printer the printer drivers and the language drivers in alphabetical order so everyone can see. So you can actually pause and take note of these so you know what to get rid of. All right, but you're going to see me do it in the tutorial anyway. But some things I am going to keep. Okay, so once you do that, let's go basically through the files that we're going to get rid of. All right. The first you see here is the Brazilian Portuguese package. The Brother Printer Driver. Now, if you know you have Brother Printers, and for any printing driver here, you can keep it there. Just, you know, don't want to go crazy. Or you can get rid of everything. And once you install Leopard on your new system, you can always install everything that we're deleting now. This is not actually being deleted from our um, original image or your DVD disc. It's from the image we just made. Just so you know, all right? So we're going to get rid of all of these here. 